I'm about to drop the sheets off, we might have to pick up some more routes too. Okay, I got you. Okay, Mr. Manning. All right, Bryce Ann, we're back. Yes. 9 30. Yes. Um, looks like the boxes moved out pretty quickly. Well, tell, we're still loading. Tell us about it. We're still loading. Um, we don't have all of the routes spoken for yet, but what they do is they take a route and uh, then we load in the, the boxes and the bags uh, accordingly and then uh, off they go. And then they come back and report back into it. Right. Have the. Uh, USDA food boxes. Oh, everybody's very excited. Our volunteers are very excited to have them because it adds so much to the uh, what, what our clients are getting. So we're very happy about having them this year. And about how many volunteers do you have? You can estimate? Uh, for this time today, yesterday we had about 15. Today we have the people involved with driving, probably a total of 20 or so. Oh, okay. It's a little bit low this year because of COVID. But uh, but it's always the Lord always provides what we need. Great, great. All right, and tell us again who you are. I'm Roxanne McInvale. I'm the president of the Interfaith Council in Hernando and Nesbitt. Great. Okay. Thank you. Thank Christine. you. Thank you. Thank you to the Mississippi Crisis Foundation for the food boxes. Good morning. So where are you taking this food? Uh, <laughs> not 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 specific addresses, but who's getting the food? Fall down and fall oh, I don't need names. Just, I mean, in general. Oh, just people who need, who the, need the, it. Thank you, thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. The food box. Did you, did you look at the produce, the Palazzo, the produce food box to see what was in there? No, yeah. no we did not. We, we heard it was wonderful. <laughs> yes, that, it weighs thirty-two pounds. Yes, that, that's provided by the Mississippi Crisis Foundation, a nonprofit out of Clarksdale, who Palazzola Produce got the USDA food box contract, USDA, and they assigned it to Mississippi Crisis Foundation, who then uh, uh, delivered them this morning to uh, Hernando uh, Interfaith. Well, at no cost. That is just just wonderful. It's Such a blessing. A blessing. It's a blessing from God. It is a blessing yes, from sir. God. Yes. Thank which you. Which is so appreciated. Yeah. And I'm with the Missis I'm with the Community Foundation of Northwest Mississippi. You know, we're located just right up here on the on the square. Community yeah. Foundation of Northwest Mississippi. Yes, sir. So we, we, we're Thank just putting so these much. partnerships together. Thank you so, so you know, much. It's been a, a blessing to meet Roxanne. Oh. <laughs> and that's I do, what I, I go to church here. We just moved here. Well, we just moved here too. From where? From Tupelo. Oh, good, good. Yeah. yeah. Well, you yeah. need to come by. And Tom Pittman is the retired, semi retired president of the Community right. Foundation. And he ran the newspaper for Mr. McLean. Oh, He might have even owned the newspaper. Tom Pittman. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah. Well, we so, were there for 32 years. Yeah, okay, so. great. Yeah, I, yeah, he just semi-retired in April, Tom Pittman. Okay. Community Foundation of Northwest Mississippi. Okay. But thank y'all for what you're doing. So Father Lawler baptized every one of my children. Oh, well, <laughs> you know Father Lawler, I'm sure. We've heard of him. Yeah, oh. We, we went to Calvary. Oh, I got it. Okay, right. okay. But All right. yes, we've you went, Okay, thank you. Thank you for what y'all were doing. Yes, sir. All right. Roxanne, this is wonderful. Oh, it's a wonderful program. It's yeah, just yeah. a real wonderful program. You don't have purple. Uh, look, step in for a minute. Let me show you. You don't you have the, purple. Correct. The red. Hey, hey, hold, let me put my mat. Hold, hold. Here, hold this for me. I need to go get my microphone. This is just an example of a route. You see how the, the cover sheet lists the, name. the names? Yeah, I won't, I won't. No, get the name. Uh, and then, and then. We do from Holy Spirit Church, turn left. And then from each house to the next, it gives exact instructions Seriously. on where to go. Even if uh, it'll say, it may say a small blue house, wooden frame sort of thing on, on it. So it's really, um, wow. it's really, does, it's wonderful. So I got video this morning. I got video of all the tables full. Yes. So now we see that the tables are empty. Uh, empty, yes. So that means the volunteers like this lady here yes. is, are, is picking up. Yes. Can I get an interview and with And this her? is Katie Cantrell. She's been with us for in Interfaith for a number of years. She's a member of Christ Covenant Church. Take it away, Miss Katie. Hey, this uh, video that we'll post on our Community Foundation of Northwest oh, Mississippi. Oh, great. Okay. All right. Tell us what, who you are. My name is Katie Cantrell. I have been helping with this um, distribution for many years. It's a great way for us to serve our community. Um, we have many, many churches in this area who come together, who provide all the food. They provide all the man hours to sort the food, to pack the food, as well as delivering the food. So it's a great way 
for us to demonstrate our love for Christ and for our neighbor as we distribute food to our community. And how long have you been involved, Katie? Oh, probably 10 years. 10 years, okay. What are you seeing now during the pandemic? Anything different or? Um, well, we have definitely had less drivers show up this year than we've ever had in the past, but our volunteers seem to be taking up the slack and we'll be doing routes um, to distribute the food to those who need it. Well, thank you for what you're doing. Did you see the food box, the USDA food box? Yes, this is the first year we've had that. What a great opportunity to give uh, fresh produce, uh, dairy products to people who might not have access to that all the time. So we're really grateful for that. And that was provided by the Mississippi Crisis Foundation. Okay. It's a nonprofit in, out of Clarksdale. Excellent. Palazzola Produce got the USDA contract to put the boxes together. Palazzola contacted Mississippi Crisis Foundation, asked for help in dispersing them. Mississippi Crisis Foundation called the Community Foundation of Northwest Mississippi, yeah. my employer. We recommended Interfaith, right. Fernando Interfaith. Palazzola delivered them this morning. We so, are so grateful. And I'm, that, isn't that great to hear the networking that just went <laughs> on to serve our community? So thank you all so much, everyone who participated yes, yes. in that. We're really grateful. Yeah. Thank you to Mississippi Crisis Foundation. Follow them on Facebook, okay. MS Crisis Foundation. Got it. They're all over the state of Mississippi now delivering okay. uh, the USDA food. Excellent. So, thank you yeah, so Thank much. you for what you, you, but you're doing the hard work. Well. <laughs> and the volunteers are the ones doing the hard work. <laughs> so thank you, Bill Blackwelder. Thank you, Pam Chapman. Thank you, the Mississippi Crisis Foundation for the food, food distribution in Hernando, Mississippi. Community Foundation of Northwest Mississippi. Look for our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. We're big supporters of Community Foundation. Good. What's your last name? Cantrell. Cantrell. Oh, yeah. Hey, it, Charlie Pride is our star of hope this year. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah. It'll, it'll be virtual. Oh, yeah. And then, so the whole ball will be virtual? Yes. Yeah. And then uh, Ken Burns did a video <laughs> tribute. Oh, you're the first one I'm telling that, uh -oh. and it's on live. Uh, Ken Burns did a video tribute to Charlie Pride. That is amazing. You know, and, yeah. And so Great. we're. Great. Oh, I look forward to that. Yeah. So it'll be about an hour program. Okay. But it's going to be a made for TV uh, segment. So okay. we'll have entertainment. Uh, we'll feature Charlie Pride, Ken Burns, our you know, our traditional. Can we still get to dress up? Well, we're, we're working on how that <laughs> event looks. So I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna come back and give you my card. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay, tell me who you are and what you're doing. Uh, Virginia, now Sutherland, Virginia Sutherland. I am loading food for the needy in the area for interfaith. Great. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you. Okay. All right, Roxanne, wonderful volunteers. Now, who, yes. who are the two young men? Oh, that's my grandson, um, Connor Skinner, and huh? this is his friend Tyler. And then Tyler works for Mississippi Crisis Foundation. Yeah. Oh, Taylor. 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 What? Your name and age. How old are you? Taylor. All right. How old are you, Taylor? Six. Okay, you're the youngest volunteer unless he's five. No. <laughs> I'm Connor and I am eight and three quarters old. Eight and three quarters, great. Okay, and then you're, you're how old and three quarters oh, what? No, I, am, I am 39 and a half. <laughs> great. Coming up on that big four zero. Is this one of yours? This one is nine. Okay. This right. handsome little fella right here. They're both handsome though. Great. I play him when his mother's not around. He's Great. he's not temporarily. All right. Well, we like young volunteers. So yes, thank y'all for what y'all are doing. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. All right, JD, give us he's some. Like, he's like, I got it. Give us I, some, this video. Go ahead and tell us what's going on. Well, here. we're we're getting ready to take these uh, food to the needy in the area. We're going to drop it off to their homes. This is for seniors, and we have we have the gifts from the churches in the area that represent interfaith plus also. Uh, your, t your team has contributed and we have large baskets of food from the USDA that are going to be added to it. So the, the people will be really blessed. Great, great, J.D. Thank you. And those Thank food you. boxes are just about gone from this morning, yeah, right? Wiggling them down. Yeah, you, and I, yeah. you and I unloaded them all. <laughs> Good. All right. Thank you, J.D. Thank you all.